Hi, I'm back. Um, this is day two of the Inktober challenge I'm doing. Um, the word is spirit, and all I did was I I went to one of the uh, the copyright free um, image pages, and I put the word spirit in, and this is one of the ones that came up. It seemed pretty quick and easy to do. I knew I was going to have a more detailed one coming up, so I wanted to do something a little more easy. <laughs> Um, but it turned out kind of cool. I, w I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to capture what the um, image originally was, but it, I, I don't know. I was pretty pleased with it, even though it was simple. Sometimes simple is good. <laughs> um, I did have a couple other images come up that I thought about, but I, I kind of like doing just the monocolor, the, the black and just grays, and it's just... Um, just a bit easier for me anyway. Okay, this was day three. And again, I put um, the word pet, which is day three's word prompt. Uh, I put the word into the pixels, pexels, whatever the site is. Um, and this cat came up. I know I have my own cat to choose from, but I, I kind of, I don't know, I just wanted to do something different. I thought the cat had really pretty eyes. Although, um, in the end, the colors um, that I painted, I don't know if it's just what comes out on the camera or not, but um, it seems a little more intense in person than it did. Maybe it's the bright lights shining on it than, than what you see. Um, yeah, this took quite a while. I did um, a bit of pen first, and then I did sort of a background, this sort of light brown color. I did the eyes, blues, this uh, really cool ink um, that's sort of, it's, um, if I can think, it's Jane Davenport um, Aphrodite, and it's blue, but it's also purple, so when you put it down, it's both. It's really kind of cool. So, and that's kind of what color the eyes were. They were very bluish, but there was a tint of yellow. So, um, uh, I, cats like this can be a little bit of a challenge because I don't know. I think I just sort of obsess on the detail of every single whisker. I know you can do it looser, but I tend to be kind of into the details. So, that's what you're stuck with. <laughs> but I think it, I'm happy with how it turned out. Um, looks like a cat. <laughs> so I think we're getting close to the end. This is about, I was um, sitting and drawing this and I saw the FedEx truck pull up. So there's sort of a little surprise in the middle of this. Um, I received a package I was waiting for. It's not really art related, but I will be using it for art supplies. And that should be coming up right about now. So here it is. Uh, sorry, it's so close to the camera. I had the, um, the camera attached to it like a sort of permanent um, fixture. So I couldn't really pull it back. Um, but I did take the sound off so you didn't listen to the horrible tape or styrofoam squeakiness. Oh, I got I this no at uh, TJ Maxx online and it's, um, well, we'll see in a minute. <laughs> very cute though. I was very excited. It was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's, um, there's a little kitty. It's a, a flower pot. I thought it was going to be about... I don't know. I, I don't know why I thought it was going to be like six inches tall, maybe. And it's it's about, I don't know, 10 inches tall. It's really big. So it's um, a Ray Dunn design and it's um, orange, which is my favorite color. And it's got a little black kitty. I love black kitties. And it says nine lines. It's perfect. Although it is big. I didn't know what I was going to put in it. So I actually had a smaller flower pot. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> I had a, f a smaller flower put that I put inside of it that was holding some big brushes of mine, and it's on my shelf right now. But anyway, I was very excited to get that. Yay.
present. <laughs> Little kitty. Okay, I think we're almost done. All right. Next up is day four. This started out as when I put messy into the um, search um, engine at the uh, copyright pictures site. I, I originally had some very messy paint brushes that I was going to do. And then I, I started to do it and I went, oh, this is just, I just couldn't get into it. So I, I saw that there was also a picture of a messy palette and I thought that might be easy to do. So I kind of got all my, those are my Jean Davenport inks and I got them all together and kind of sampled the colors and moved them around to see which worked best for my eye. And so this is what I came up with. But I didn't get the end part where I made it messy. So where this ends, it's still neat. But when you see the final pictures, when it gets messy. So that was easy. I just splashed water on it. Okay, thanks. Hope see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>